we picked up lots of rubbish? Yes! Are you feeling good about it? Yes! Uh, Theo had something to say. Say it loud. I feel honored to pick up plastic. Fantastic. Oh. We're picking up near a river and near a motorway where there was a big fire recently. Mm -hmm. And we found some other interesting pieces of rubbish. Who was going to tell me about the glass? Alejandra. We saw an enormous uh, drink party in front of a uh, poster that said, don't throw rubbish. And uh, two meters uh, to the left, there were like uh, 60 bottles of beer. 60 bottles of beer. <laughs> wow. My so what, what is that? Is it mostly like domestic uh, waste or do you also have some construction waste or what is the different types of rubbish you have collected? <laughs> Most of the rubbish is from people throwing things out of the cars on the motorway okay. and for coming and having parties and picnics. So mostly domestic. We have found some a, a little bit of dump stuff like a bed and a sofa but very little and what do you think uh, what do you think personally like uh, how has been the change in in spain like regarding people's awareness or has been like waste management become more important topic um i'm gonna ask the kids this as well but mm -hmm. in the last we've been participating for five years and in the last five years this year there is almost 600 pickups in Spain, which is almost duplicating the year before. So people are really becoming a lot more conscious um, and starting to demand more from the government. But I'll ask these people here, what do you want to see change in the world with the no, rubbish? No poverty. Mm -hmm. And no more rubbish in the floor to uh, live in a safe place to have nice walks and the animals can sleep. Okay, anybody no else? No plastic supermarkets and recycle all the rubbish that we use. No plastics in the supermarkets, that's a good one. No, no plastic bottles and more glass bottles. Excellent, so these are kids Fantastic. who know where we need to go. Also, can you ask the kids, what do you think? Do they like uh, parents, like their mothers and fathers, do they think differently or are okay. the young ones the beacons of light? Voy a preguntar, ¿Quién habla inglés y quiere decir algo? <laughs> Here we go, I've got a mother. <laughs> what do you think about picking up rubbish? Oh, I think it's good for the environment and for the well-being of humanity. Excellent, thank you. Anybody else? Another parent? <laughs> the parents don't want to talk. I would like to see less uh, rubbish in the place where I, in the forest where I take to walk my dog, because my dog uh, goes to the places of picnic that there are a lot of bottles and things, and uh, it's like he wants to eat them. Like my dog do eat rubbish. Okay, any other questions? Yeah. Yeah, what, what do you think? What are like biggest challenges when it comes to like rubbish? So, Cayetana, what is the biggest problem that we have with rubbish? That uh, we can't stop while we, uh, we start and then we think it's so good that we can't stop. Okay, so what, but what's so good? Using plastic using, or picking up? Yeah, uh, using, plastic. using plastic is so easy and then we don't want to stop. Well done. And that they, and it took a lot of years to to uh, like uh, disappear. Biodegrade. Biodegrade. Yeah, sure. well, it never biodegrades. Ah. I'll see if I can find a father that I can. Get. What do you think about your children picking up rubbish? Oh, I think it's a great opportunity to talk for them to to save the planet and to take care of things. Thank you, and thank you for helping. <laughs> Why do you do you think this makes a difference? I think it makes a great difference, yes. And, you know, we've had a lovely walk, but we've been picking some litter. So not only are we having fun, friend, fun with the friends that we love, but also we've managed to pick a lot of rubbish as well. And do you, what do you think is the biggest obstacle to stopping waste in our community? 
ourselves. I think if we change, then everybody changes.